Ada Lovelace Day is an international day recognising women in STEM and inspiring others, young and old alike. I'm thrilled to welcome one of our speakers, Michelle Playfair, who's the executive from Yale Conferences. That's right. Uh, she gave a great talk today. Oh, thank uh, you. Fantastic. It was really well received by the crowd. And you've been involved in the IT industry for quite some time, as of myself, and seen mm. a number of changes in there. Um, what changes you might have seen over the years that now make it more of an enjoyable place to work for a woman uh, in the IT industry? Yeah, well, uh, first of all, I think there is the internet, which is just resources are available. People who maybe couldn't make it to university. Mm -hmm. um, there's online university courses now. Wow, who knew? Um, so you can actually self-educate a lot more than you used to be able to. Yep. Um, you don't have to rely on those manky old books on VB5 that you found at the back of the library um, that were out of date some time ago. Um, so that's a, that's a big one. The other one I think is the shift in how companies treat people. Mm -hmm. And I say people, not resources. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's been a big shift. There's a lot more awareness of, of the need to treat everyone as individual, not just women specifically, but obviously that helps. So I think how companies hiring is changing is, has been helpful as well. And of course, there's a lot more awareness now that, that diversity is beneficial for mm, your, mm, your mm. company as well as the right thing to do. So I think that that's been quite an interesting shift to see uh, in companies. And, you know, like I was saying in my talk, there's no reason to stay in a company that doesn't treat you well yeah. anymore because there are so many companies out there that do. Obviously, ThoughtWorks is pretty legendary for uh, how they treat their, their people. So that's a, a good example. Yeah, yeah. cool. You yeah. also like quotes. Do you have any quotes that you want to share for uh, maybe women who want to get into STEM to think about or something that you want to share more broadly that you think is good for people to consider when they take on a STEM career? Oh, so many. Yes, I, I, do, I do throw out the annoying uh, quotes from time to time. Um, and I suppose you alluded to one earlier on, which is the, the Richard Branson one. If, if somebody yep. asks you to do something and you're not sure how to do it, say yes and figure it out later. That's, that's probably a good one. Um, Karen reminded me of, of one that I, that I didn't use, which is great, which is the fake it till you make it, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. which, you know, people talk about imposter syndrome and, and things that they feel that they can't do it. But a lot of people are faking it, yep. you know, or, or at least if not entirely faking it, you know, sort of putting on a, a brave front. I can mm -hmm, do this mm -hmm. while thinking inside. Oh, maybe I can't. Um, but I think that's that's quite important is to just be able to back yourself a little bit and and know that everybody has doubts and you're not you're not the only one um, and you can still do it. Right. Well, thanks, Michelle. Thanks for coming along today and giving an inspiring talk. And oh, pleasure. I, I'm sure it's going to help others look at STEM as a real opportunity for a career in the future. Hopefully. Cool. Thanks for Thank having you. me. No problem. Cheers.